Let's talk about how to use trailing stop orders using your StockTrack account. A trailing stop order is a hybrid order type that tries to combine the profit maximization of a limit order with the loss minimization of a stop order. The cool thing about a trailing stop order is that instead of having a fixed limit price, it locks in your gains as you go. So let's look at an example. If I own a stock and I want to make sure I don't lose more than a certain dollar amount or a certain percentage, then I can set a trailing stop order. Now you might think this is very similar to a stop order, but I'll show you how it's different. I own some Google stock, so I'll use them as an example. If I want to set a trailing stop sell order for a Google share, and I want to set my trailing stop at 10% with a trailing stop order, what that means is that I'll allow the price to continue to go up if it continues to go up. And whatever the highest point it reaches while this order is open, this order will trail the price of Google, but never allow me to lose more than 10%. So let's put some numbers to this to make it more concrete. As you can see, the current price is around $101. Let's say that Google stock price rises to $120. If I were to set a traditional stop order rather than a trailing stop order, even if Google's prices rise to $120, a normal stop order wouldn't sell my stock until it dropped all the way back down to $90. However, with a trailing stop set at 10%, if Google's price rises to $120, the stock wouldn't be sold until it drops again to $108, which is 10% of $120. And so I would end up keeping a lot more profit than a traditional stop order at 10% that wouldn't execute until 10% below my original buying price. You can set a trailing stop by dollar amount or by percentage, and your order will trail the stock price as it goes at the amount that you specify. So in order to execute this order, review it. For a trailing stop, it will show your current target price according to the last price purchased. But remember, this adjusts over time, depending on how the stock price changes. Then select place order. And that's how to use a trailing stop order on your StockTrack account.